During step number three, FMPRO Migrator uses the field size info gathered during step number two to create a table within the SQL Server database. To complete this task, you should already have a local SQL Server database server installed. You need to have created a SQL Server database where your tables will be created. A SQL Server ODBC DSN should have been created. The SQL Server database connection info needs entered into the FMPRO Migrator main screen. Here in the main FMPRO Migrator window, I have selected my source and destination databases. For the SQL Server database, I have entered the ODBC DSN, database name, username, and password. On the right, you see the migration process window. Having completed my prerequisites, I click on the step number three, create table button, and the table is created. If you want to see the SQL code used to create the table, click the table creation details button. You can modify the SQL code, drop and recreate the table, and execute the code again from this window. Notice that the table has been created in the DBO schema because we log in with the SA account. If you want the table placed into a different schema, please refer to the details described in the PDF manual. Also notice that the nvarcar column type is being used to ensure that UTF-8 data from FileMaker is stored properly in SQL Server. If you click the Create Table button a second time, you will get an error that the table already exists. If you want to drop and recreate the table, Hold down the shift key when clicking the step number three button. Step number three has now been completed for this table.